Hello, I'm Robert with Beaver Rocket. In this tutorial, I'll be going over custom post type templates. To follow along with this tutorial, the required plugins are Beaver Builder, Beaver Tunnels, Advanced Custom Fields, PHP Code for Posts, for converting PHP code to short codes. For creating custom post types, I'll be using the MB Custom Post Type plugin. So here in the dashboard, I'll create a custom post type. I'll give it the name, plural name of Autos, single name Auto. I'll go ahead and click these on too. I'll publish it. I've created a standard WordPress page and I've named it Beaver Template Holder. This page is for doing the initial page layout in Beaver. So now I'll add some custom fields using advanced custom fields. I'm going to add a new field group. I'll call it Auto Sales. I'll add a field. I'll call it auto sale title. The field type is set to text. I'll add another field. Auto maker. It's also set to text field. I'll add an image field. I'll call it auto image. And I'll set its field type to image. I'll set it to image object here. Now I'll add a field. I'll call it auto color. Field type text. I'll add another field. I'll call it auto year. Field type text, I'll add another field, I'll call it auto mileage, field type text, I'll add another field, auto condition, and it's also set to field type text, and finally I'll add auto description. I'm going to set this field type to text area. Now I'll set some parameters on which post types and pages these custom fields will be available on. So here we have a list of our custom fields. Now I'll set which post types and pages these custom fields are available on. So I'll set it to post type is equal to auto this is our custom post type that we created earlier, autos here. And also I want it available. And also I want it available on the page we created. Page is equal to Beaver template holder. So that's good. Now I'll set all these options to be hidden on our page and custom post type. I'll update. Now if you'll go to our template holder page, you'll see our custom fields available here. Auto sale title, auto maker, auto image, auto color, auto year, auto mileage, auto condition, and auto description. And if we create one of our custom post type auto pages, it's available here as well. So back to our template holder page. And I'll go ahead and start filling in these fields here. Auto sale title. Awesome European sports car for sale. Automaker, Alfa Romeo. Let's 
go ahead and add the image. We'll select this car here. Auto color is Arctic Silver. Auto year 2015. Auto mileage 1200 miles. Auto condition excellent. And for the auto description, I'll paste in some Ipsum Lorem here. All right, I'll update this. So if we view the page, nothing shows. We have to build the layout for the custom fields, and we'll do that in Beaver Page Builder. On the Advanced Custom Field website, there's documentation online for how to display the custom fields. You can do it with short code, although there's limitations to the short code. So you would also use PHP, for example, this code here to display images. And I'll go over how to display this kind of PHP by converting it into a short code. So here I've created a list of the short code to display the custom fields in our Beaver Builder page template. I'll copy and paste these into the Beaver Builder page template. Back to our template holder page, I'll load up Page Builder. And I'll start with a blank theme. I'll begin by adding the heading module. I'll copy and paste the short code for the title. There you can see the title has appeared. I'll add two columns below. In this column here, I'm going to add the image. So I'm going to have to convert some PHP to a short code so that I can display the image here in this column. From the advancedcustomfields.com resources image page, I'm going to copy this PHP here. And I'm going to go into PHP code here. New snippet. I'm going to replace this here with my code. I'm going to paste it in. I'm going to name my code ACF image and I'll just give this the same description but right here I have to replace this with the name of my image field name so it's auto image I'll copy this I'll paste it in here I'll replace that with the name of my custom field I'll save the code snippet. The plugin will assign the image field a short code, and we can copy and paste this into our Beaver template. So I'll copy the short code for the image, and I'll paste it into my template here. I'll get the HTML here. I'll paste that in, save it. I'll also assign a CSS class to this image here. I'll give it ACF image. Save it. I'm going to give the image a drop shadow, so I'll go to Tools, Global Settings. I'll open the CSS panel, and it's dot. ACF dash image and I'm also going to add IMG to make sure that the drop shadow is applied to the image and not the HTML element container.
So there you have a nice drop shadow applied to the image. And I'm also going to make this heading here bigger by applying the H1 tag to it. Let's give our title some style. Text color. I'll copy some more short codes. I'll add the description. I'll use the text editor. I'll add some columns at the bottom. I'll paste the short code into them. I'll give these columns here some style. I should have made them in a separate row, but I'll go ahead and fix that now. I'll set this row to full width. I'll give it a background color. I'll make the text white. I'll use beaver tunnels to assign the page templates to specific posts and pages. Beaver tunnels will also automatically load the page templates when the page or custom post type is created. Back to Page Builder. We're going to save this layout as a template. We'll call it Auto Mobile Template 1. We're going to save the template again. This time we'll call it Automobiles Template Posts. Done. Publish Changes. So here in the dashboard we'll go to Templates, All Templates. We can see here that we have two templates. The reason we created two templates is one we'll use for laying out visually with the template holder page and this one is a copy that we use to automatically load when our custom post types here are created. We have two templates here. 
and this template that will be used to automatically load when custom post types or specific pages that the template is assigned to are created, the short code has to be changed. This short code here has to be wrapped in the Beaver Tunnels template wrapper short code. I'm using a beta version of Beaver Tunnels, so this markup might change, but for this version of the beta, but for this version of the beta, this is the wrapper short code here. The opening part is this here, Beaver underscore tunnels, and we have the closing part of the short code here. Here is the short code that you would insert in the middle of the Beaver Tunnels template wrapper short code. So now we'll edit the template. I'll scroll down here and I'm going to assign this template to our custom post type autos. So I'll scroll down here. I'll select singular auto. Now I'll update it. But I still have to add the Beaver Tunnels shortcode to the template so that it will automatically load and display the dynamic content. I'll launch Page Builder. And the strange thing is you can't see the short codes, but when you hover over them, you can see that there's elements here. So I hope the Beaver Builder team can do something here to help us see the short codes. But anyway, I can see that this is my heading and this is the short code for the heading. So I'll have to replace it with this one here. save it. This is the element for the image here. So I'll replace it with this one here. And the same over here. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of these and fast forward the video. I've gone in and added Beaver Tunnels wrapper code to all of my custom fields short codes here. So now I'm ready to create a custom post type. Autos, add new. I'll give it a title, Super Deluxe Italian Sports Car for Sale. In custom fields, I'll edit the field group, auto sales. I want my custom fields to be up on top, high after the title. Update. So I'll just copy the post title into the auto sale title. Automaker, Alpha, Romeo. I'll add limited just to distinguish it from the other one. I'll add an image. This time I'll use the red sports car. Auto color, red. Year, we'll say this one's a 2012. Auto mileage, 3,000 miles. Condition, very good. We'll copy the Ipsum Lorem again, just to save time. We'll publish our page. We'll view it. And what do we see? Nothing. We only see our title of the post, some meta information here, but we don't see any of the content from the custom fields. To correct this, we have to edit our template. I'll go to the template, dashboard, templates, all templates, automobile template posts, edit. What I have to correct here is where the template is being inserted into the page. What I see here is that it's set to a Beaver Builder theme hook and I'm using Genesis with Dynamic. So it needs to be set to one of these Genesis framework hooks. And I'll choose Genesis before footer. I'll update it. I'll refresh. Now you can see our custom fields displayed on the page. The page template is showing me some extra information here that I don't want to show. So I'll put in some CSS code to hide that. 
and the code that I put in is specific to the post type here single auto so this CSS will only affect our single auto pages so now that I've set all of this up I'll go ahead and add another automobile for sale page great deal on a new sports car limited edition platinum sports car Alpha Romeo add image auto color platinum auto year 2016 auto mileage 20 auto condition new I'll add our Ipsum lorem again I'll publish it and I'll view it there you go I hope that you've liked this tutorial. I've enjoyed putting it together for you. Please contact me on my website, beaverrocket.com, if I can help you with your next WordPress project. I'm Robert with Beaver Rocket. Thank you very much for watching this video.